Hi everyone, I'm Pearl and welcome to my channel Journey to Home Sweet Home. Today I'm participating in the DIY Mommy's Spring DIY and Decor Challenge. I'll put a link to the playlist down below. For this challenge, I made a Glam Easter Bunny for just $4.50 using items from the dollar store and items I had on hand. My inspiration comes from this beautiful Pier 1 Glam Bunny I found while browsing Pinterest. I decided to visit the website and found that they are selling something similar for $23.99 on sale and that's in US dollars so in Canada it would cost me more. So I decided to DIY this for less because I like having beautiful things but I wasn't prepared to spend that much on a small decoration that would only be up for maybe about a month. So let me show you how I made this and I promise this will be so simple and easy to make. Even your kids could do it. Here are the things you're going to need. First, you're gonna get a bunny. I bought this ceramic bunny from the Dollarama for $2. Then you're going to need some Mod Podge, the glossy kind. Also, you're gonna pick up some acrylic paint. I have mine in spun gold. This is also from the dollar store, Dollarama. And some glitter. You're also going to need paint brushes. Okay, let's get started. So first off, you're going to start by painting your bunny in the spun gold paint. And don't worry if it looks a little streaky. It When it dries out, it will even out. You can also put a little bit more paint on your paintbrush just, just to get a more even coverage. But again, I wouldn't worry about it because we are going to cover the bunny in glitter afterwards. Make sure to cover all of your bunny, including its ears, nose, eyes, and its feet all the way down to the bottom. Paint as close to the bottom as you can without going under their feet because then it'll stick onto your paper and we really don't want that. So just paint as close to the bottom as you can. When it's done, you're going to add glitter to your bunny before it dries. So just take your glitter and sprinkle it all over your bunny, trying to get every place. Now, we won't be able to hold it because the paint is wet, but try your best to shake the glitter onto all of the bunny. Try to get the eyes and underneath as best you can. But don't worry if you don't get every little part. Uh, every single part because we are gonna go over this with a brush and Mod Podge with glitter as well. So our bunny is looking pretty good. We're gonna put this aside to dry. Then once it's dry, you're going to take your bunny and there are some spots as you can see where the gold glitter did not adhere to. So we are going to mix some glitter into Mod Podge and using a paintbrush we're going to spread it first in the places that, that we didn't get with the glitter and then we are going to do the whole thing. Here you can see I'm using a kind of a stippling motion just kind of dotting it, dabbing it lightly all over the bunny. That's so that I don't pick up the glitter with my paintbrush and take it off the bunny. Now at this point, your bunny's looking pretty white, but don't be alarmed, once it dries, it will dry with a clear, glossy finish. So leave your bunny to dry overnight, and when you're done, it'll look like this. Again, here is Pier 1's bunny, and here is my version. For just $4.50, I think my bunny came out pretty comparable, 
and I really do love the way it turned out. Let me know in the comment box below what you think of my bunny. So I want to encourage you this spring to get creative, use what you have, and make something beautiful. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please like this video if you liked it, share it with someone that you know, and subscribe for more videos like this one. Thanks so much for watching. Take care, be well, be safe, and be healthy.